Hey everybody, it's Eddie with lifeisablog.com. That's www.lifeisablog.com. I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, with the new release of iOS 9 Beta 1, um, I, I updated to it last night. It's actually a really good operating system. Apple has, uh, Apple has kind of went from adding a bunch of different features to worrying more about stability, user ability, and proactive. Um, they've they've given Siri a new interface. They've they've added some multitasking to the iPad. Um, the 6 and the 6 Plus, they really didn't add any multitasking to that. Um, a lot of cool features. One thing I want to talk about is Apple's now added a battery saver. It's called Low Saver, I think it's called. Um, it, it's supposed to add three hours to your battery life, um, along with the one hour that iOS 9 has given um, to the iPhone. I've been beta testing it since last night. The only issue I see with it so far is my iPhone 6 Plus kind of heats up a little bit. Um, no no excessive battery drainage um i've seen a little bit a little bit of a lag when switching between apps here and there um it'll kind of have a black border around it um <clears throat> but it'll go away within a, a couple seconds i'm not sure how it how it'll run on the iphone 4s uh or the 5 and that's another cool thing about apple the 4s is getting ios 9 the 4s the 5 5c the 5s all the way up to the 6 plus um, so that's one thing good about iPhone over Android is, uh, they support a lot of their models years and years down the road. Um, I know a lot of people were seeing issues with, uh, when they install iOS 9, one of the biggest bugs people are seeing is at the top left hand corner of your phone where you normally see your carrier banner, like Verizon Wireless, AT&T, Rogers Mobile, T-Mobile, um, it's not connecting to the network. You're going to see where instead of saying your carrier, it's going to say iPhone. Um, I, I've noticed a lot of the ways to fix that. Um, th there are a couple ways. I've posted it on my blog, um, which I'll have the link below in the description. It's www.lifeisablog.com. Um, if you're prompted to update the carrier settings, go ahead and update them. Um, that's not going to harm anything. Um, but the first thing I want you to try is hold the power button and the home button at the same time and so you see the Apple logo. That's going to hard reboot your phone. Um, and that should work. But if it doesn't, I want you to go into settings, general, all the way to the bottom. Um, and reset your network settings. It won't erase nothing on your phone. Um, and one of those two ways should work. Try throwing it in airplane mode for a couple minutes. Make sure if you're using T-Mobile, I know they use APN settings if you're using a, a carrier non-specific iPhone. Um, a lot of people report that it just takes time. I've, I've been reading a lot of forums on the iMore forums and Mac Rumors forums. Um, a lot of people say it just takes time. They turn their phone off for an hour or two, turn it back on, wait about 15 minutes, and boom, their carrier's back. Um, another cool thing is Apple has updated their multitasking, uh, multitasking view. It's kind of cool. Um, I've also noticed a lot of people are anticipating iOS 9 beta 1. They want to install it now. Um, they don't have the money or the means to register as a developer. Um, I mean, you can go spend 10 bucks and get your UDID registered, but if you go to my blog, um, I've got a tutorial on there along with links that allows you to download and install iOS 9 Beta 1 without being a dev, without having a UDID registered. It works. I used it. I, I've done it on about 10 of my friend's iPhone 6s. Works perfect. Um, you know, if, if anybody knows any other ways uh, to fix that carrier bug, let me know. And definitely, if, if anybody notices any bugs, in iOS 9, let me know. I will I will give you a shout out in a video. I will do my damnedest to try to get it fixed. Or not get it fixed, but find a way to fix it until Apple, you know, fixes it. Kind of, you know, suppress the problem a little bit. And 
you know, I'll give you a shout out in a video. Um, let me think. If you know, if you know anybody who has an iPhone 4, they're going to be, they're not going to be able to update to the iOS 9. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, like the spotlight search. It's no longer a swipe down for a spotlight search. It's swipe to the left. I don't know if you remember a long time ago. I think it was iOS 6. Um, you swipe to the left to get to the spotlight search. They've included a lot of different stuff in there. Um, you know, Siri can do a lot of different stuff now. The Notes app has changed. You can add links. You can add pictures. You can tell Siri, you know, if you go to a website, let's say you go to my blog, www.lifeisablog.com, and somebody knocks on your door and you're not finished reading, just, you know, hold down your home key, bring up Siri, say, hey, Siri, remind me about this in two hours. And in two hours, Siri's going to give you a pop-up and she's going to take you right back to where you left off. That's kind of cool. Good job there, Apple. Um, other than that, Apple really didn't change a lot of stuff. Um, the, the most significant changes I've seen is in the accessibility options. Um, there's a lot of different stuff in there. So go check that out. The keyboard now has lowercase letters and uppercase letters when you hit the shift key. Good job, Apple. It only took 10 years to do it. Um, other than that, like I said, there's not a significant amount of visual changes. Um, they, they wanted to work on suppressing bugs, stability, speed, stuff like that. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I know I don't post up a lot of videos. That's going to start changing here pretty soon. I'm going to start doing a lot more vlogs, video vlogs. Um, and remember, go to www.lifeisablog.com. Have a wonderful day.